Prince Harry and Meghan banned and blacklisted from attending Elton John's annual Oscar party. Harry and Meghan were apparently banned from attending Elton John's annual Oscar viewing party this past Sunday. Now, normally I would be skeptical of any story about celebrities banning other celebrities, but this one seems to have some credibility behind it. Given the sources every year after the Academy Awards, legendary singer and longtime friend of the royal family, Sir Elton John, hosts an ultra-exclusive party after the Oscars night. The party is arguably the hottest ticket in town on Oscar night as it draws all the biggest Hollywood stars like Leo DiCaprio, Jennifer Lawrence, and Brad Pitt, just to name a few. Elton also used the event to raise millions of dollars each year for the AIDS Foundation. Given Elton's deep royal connections as well as his friendship with Harry that goes back decades, it seems like it's a given that Harry and Meghan would score an invite this year now that they live in California. However, multiple sources are now reporting that the couple did not make Elton's highly selective guest list and were in fact banned from attending the first story breaking. When famous talk show host David Foster revealed on his podcast that he received the call from Elton the week of the Oscars, saying, The moment you got off the phone with me, I want you to call Harry and tell him that he's not coming to the party, and neither is his wife. Foster said that while Elton loves Harry as a friend, he felt that he had to draw the line after Harry and Meghan's bombshell the Oprah interview in 2021, accusing the royal family of racism and neglect. Hollywood insider and American Idol star Catherine McPhee further confirmed the ban on her own podcast, saying Elton felt that he had to choose sides between the royals and his longtime friend Harry. She added that Elton was put in a difficult position and didn't want any drama or tabloid headlines taking away from his party. You also have to wonder if the royals themselves put pressure on Elton not to invite the couple, given the rift with Oprah claims in that interview. Either way, it's clear. Harry and Meghan missed out on what is considered one of the hottest and most exclusive invites in Hollywood. Let's break the story down further. First of all, all the sources, show David Foster and Catherine McPhee, are both highly credible figures in the entertainment industry with legitimate insider access and connections. Foster, in particular, is a close friend of both Elton and the Royals, having worked as Prince Charles for years on his ecological passion projects. So it seems very plausible. It's very plausible that he would have received the call directly from Elton about the decision. There's also no obvious motive for either Foster or McPhee to fabricate such a story. If anything, that reveals that Elton had banned two huge celebrity names like Harry and Meghan from his party. And it risked negative backlash and criticism of Elton. So the fact that they're confirming it lends further weight that it did in fact happen. As reported, some royal experts have even said this ban could damage Harry and Meghan's reputation in Hollywood moving forward as it sends a signal know that they are unwelcome in some elite social circles, and as for motives, Elton banning the couple doesn't make sense given the circumstances. The hosts of an ultra-high-profile event like this Oscars party does not want any drama or tabloid fodder that could take away the attention from the celebrating of the night. And with Harry and Meghan's Oprah claims still making deadly hate, or rather daily headlines around the world at the time, their presence at the party is almost guaranteed unwanted press swarms and speculation about any interactions with the royal family. Elton is also in a difficult spot as someone who is close to both Harry and the rest of the Windsor family. Not inviting the couple, he avoids directly choosing sides but will still retain his relationship with the crown. I'm sure that behind closed doors, the royal family also hoped to limit further media spectacles surrounding Harry and Meghan's claims at such a prominent event with the eyes of the world all watching. Elton's party that night would be that event. It was a smart strategic decision, even if it hurts his friendship with Harry, in the short term. Of course, we haven't heard Harry and Meghan publicly comment on this reported ban yet, and if asked, they would likely downplay it as merely a scheduling conflict. But privately, you have to think this rejection stings, especially as two Hollywood outsiders still trying to establish relationships in the L.A. social scene to be blacklisted from arguably the most coveted invite of the year was undoubtedly a blow. It shows the scandal still runs deep, and this transatlantic royal rift is impacting their social lives and access on both sides of the pond. Looking ahead, the episode could give ammunition to royal experts, predicting more damage to Harry's bond with his family moving forward. While one appearance at the Queen's Platinum Jubilee showed a united front behind closed doors, relationships further fractured more than ever. And with Harry pinning a tell-all memoir later this year, supposedly, that's sure to ruffle even more royal feathers, and the bridges may get burned to the point of no return.